Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back heading in the colony section yet again for another cursor assist. That's right, it's cursor assist number three. We've done one and two. Let's see how we do on the third. Uh, ooh, uh, it's an auto build base. I think it's the same text as before. Let's just see. Uh, systems online. Defensive mode 47%. I believe that is actually even lower than before. Um, offensive mode, offline, scanners, online, anti-creep power, 250%, so higher anti-creep power. Uh, creeper containment has failed, and the anti-creep protocols have been initiated. The automated base, base's offensive mode is not available, and defensive mode has started to fail. Creep protocols have been escalated to compensate. Your duty is to assist aut the automated base by sweeping your anti-creep across the map. To reclaim the land, your power will grow as more of the land is covered in anti-creep. Maintenance logs indicate that we can identify the locations where the pylons and nullifiers once stood by the overgrowth left behind. There are other weapons and structures cannot be identified. Okay, so we are on uh, a lovely, lovely cursor map. That's right, we are doing the cursor style. Uh, with that, I guess we will be tossing on our map indicator. And with that, what do we has? We has uh, just a good amount of area. But if you notice, base defenses essentially stop here, right? This is sort of the end of the base defenses. And then it's just, just blah, right? It's just nothing. So we're definitely going to have to hold this off very, very well. Uh, do we have any starter things? I mean, there's a good starter energy. There's some solar panels, but it doesn't really... Or well, there's a lot, actually. So I guess the more they get, they'll, they'll get enough energy relatively soon, which is quite good. You know, they don't need miners or anything. Just they got what they need. Uh, Strategery-wise, what do we want? What do we want? Uh, clearly, I mean, since we come so far down, we will eventually want to take out this bottom area and make it just nice and even, nice and flat. Let the AC spread that much better. You know, have one... Uh, set direction but i think the hard part is going to be going where we want things to be right i mean clearly i have no idea where anything is going to be built now i do have a little speculation just a wee little bit and the thing that i'm speculating is right here see this these pylons are built in these trees right here and these pylons, all pylons, appear to have trees under them. Every single one. So my guess is this is sort of a layout of the map, right? So pylon, 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 pylon. This is how we sort of get down here. This is how we get over here. We have a pylon set that comes from the top. So that I can see. Now, are there any other units? Are there? Is there any unit over here? Is there any unit by this stash i have no freaking idea um so that is something that we're i'm a little concerned about but there might not be it might just be our cursor and these little points to get to these so if that's the case i don't know where we're gonna go i mean this is a very close one maybe we'll go for some of the closer ones try and cut off the bottom and then sort of follow the path and see what goes uh try and get close to these and just take them with our cursor maybe no, uh, but step one is just establish our base. So let's let's get to it. And yes, uh, thank you very much. Also honoring Alexa for uh, letting me. I do apologize if my voice is a little off. I don't know how to change that, um, but I am glad to hear that it sounded like the sound mixing was a lot better in the last video. So thank you so much for that report. Uh, very very cool. Uh, and I do want to apologize that this this is apparently the sound of the mic i don't really know how to alter that unfortunately at the current moment uh maybe that's just my voice maybe i've just been uh, just a strange voice this entire time who knows um but let's get some ac spread and let's get you know our borders online we're definitely going to want to build up and defend everywhere right I, like right here let's let's not let the front line fall i think that's our first goal is just save the front line yes 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 although they are already essentially at creeper cap so not really worried about the front line right the cannons are already coming online the deficit is already dropping so i think i think we're gonna be fine uh always, oh 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 not that mortar though uh, yeah, I, th I think we have indeed held the locations. Uh, now that the mortars are online firing, I think that's just going to naturally push back. So, very good for us. Very good for us indeed. Ooh, all right, let's let's also take this little this little area too. Right, looks like uh, it's kind of going under. 
Don't die, Mortar. Don't die. Okay, good. Success. Success. I think I think we've taken it back. And there should be a pylon here because there's some dead trees there. So huzzah, we'll try and grab that while we're in this little push point. There we go. Grab some cannons around it. That's all we care about. I like me some cannons. So that is big success. We're completely out of a deficit too, which is great. And you know, we're even close to another pylon, which is right here, which has some red on, which... I mean, we don't really... I mean... The red on is making the emrefs, so I guess it'll be good to have more, but I don't think we really, like, care too much about it, right? I mean, it's nice, but it's not like it's the be, you know, the be-all, end-all kind of thing. Um, but there we go. There is the pylon exactly where we expected, which is very good to see. Definitely going to need that to build this kanan. And that's already getting that red on, so good on that. So that'll help with the M rifting as well, which should help build things as well. It's like just it's just that multi-step process. Uh, I do hope we can find another cannon here, maybe. I don't know how well defended these areas are. There is another cannon, so that is a plus. Uh, and I do kind of want to cut off the south side from here, if at all possible. Now, cutting off the south side is not going to be easy, of course. Maybe we move to the next pylon. Uh, go for the spore launcher, even. That might be that might be pretty viable. Uh, because, yeah, I mean, we don't have that many units. And that's, that's, a, that's a little concerning, right? Uh, clearly, the creep is coming up from this back side. So I also want to, like, trim this up. You know, let's, let's just end it. End the creep. Oh my. There we go. Okay, okay. Let's let's take let's take a little gander though. Uh non top down. I don't want them so let's see. Like this isn't actually this is like super thin. We should actually be able to take that out relatively easily. And the main reason too is we do have cursor power. The more land we control, the more power we have. Ooh, that just took itself back naturally. Awesome. Um yeah, so the more power we have, obviously, um the better for us. <laughs> we're gonna need that power methinks so taking this is actually pretty important uh it is relatively deep here in comparison to other places especially with this emitter so yeah i think maybe we just shift to down here take our power and allow this creep to flow out that much better so let's go for that keep an eye over here in case the creep does come in we don't want that to fall of course um but i definitely want to uh yeah you can see we're just eating the creep over here like this area is falling it would probably fall naturally but the faster we get it the more this will be attacking the front line and it's just it's just good for business all around you know the more creep we have plus we can shut down this breeder zone it's not going to breed uh very often or very much i should say uh because obviously uh we have the uh creeper cap but that doesn't mean it won't breed at all. So just eliminating that completely essentially means that no creep can spawn, right? And no creep is way better than some creep, I would say. Uh, random spores. Oh, random spores. You know, always the bane. Always the bane. Um, we gained about 14, 15% power in taking that too, which is actually... That's that's nothing to sneeze at, right? I mean, that's, that's 14, 15% power. Uh much more than we had before and plus if we take the rest of it make this the nice line that we wanted of course uh like i don't care. look at that <laughs> look at that skimmer right that skimmer it's doing its thing it's feeling good i don't care about it you skim all you want there buddy uh you're not really hurting anybody so ooh, we can't necessarily cut this off yet which is bad i was kind of hoping to reset the line uh and maybe we can okay maybe we got it is if we reset the line again, hug your walls, do your things. They're all very good for you. And now we have a much nicer assault line of anti-creep, right? We're taking this over. You can see the waves of anti-creep coming in. It's just a very good time. Um, there we go. There we go. There we go. Ooh, look at this front line has moved so freaking far. That's amazing. Holy moly. Uh, and I'm, I'm not saying that front line is moved because of what we did in the bottom. I mean, that kind of is probably just ever all the standard creep just pushing. But it probably didn't hurt, that's for sure. So, yeah, let's let's keep our AC moving along. Uh, taking out the front line. Try, let's try and get to this... Uh, Let's try and get to the spore launcher, I think. Maybe, or maybe we go from the top. The top was moving really nice. Uh, the top does have a few more uh, zones that I think benefit it. Uh, so there is that. 
Uh, but there, ooh, double canon. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Again, just what you want to see. You just, you just want to see these units. They're going to do good. Once they start firing, hopefully this area gets pretty safe and... Oh, my gosh, a mortar, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That mortar, that's what we truly need to see. Now, unfortunately, the eggs will be a popping. Uh, oh, that's a nullifier, see? Okay, so that's the nullifier spot. That's not even the uh, another pylon. That's just, this is where the nullifier is. Oh, my God, that's so good. Such a good indicator, I have to say. That is incredible. Knowing where the nullifier is is so powerful. Like, just knowing where things are uh, in the darkness, it's such a great idea, such a great design. I, uh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Love everything about it. Uh, except for right now, the fact that these eggs are really, really ruining my day. So, hopefully this will be good. Now, another egg is going to pop, but we should have enough AC here to stop it from hitting this nullifier. We get the nullifier online. No more eggs from this bad boy. Oh, no. Yeah, okay, good. That egg was a little spooky, but it went pretty far away, so I'm not super sad. This egg. Oh, skimmer, don't do it. Yeah, you keep on going, skimmer. Oh no! I didn't realize the skimmer could one shot. Or was that a blob? What destroyed the pilot? Interesting. Interesting. Such mysteries. Oh my. And oh no! And we're good. We're good. Safety has been found. We even found a new Kanan up ahead. There's the pylon spot. So beautiful. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, let's get a pylon, let's get a cannon, or two, yes, uh, maybe three and a cannon, who knows, I, I have no idea if there's any more here, but I will take any assault possible, of course, uh, thankfully they did just get built up, uh, the Emrift is operational, so that is definitely helping too, uh, and yeah, I think, I think we're doing pretty, pretty good. Uh, yeah, moving, moving quite a lot. Oh, yes, a third. That is gorgeous. Um, I love the indicators for the main areas. I think that is a great idea. It is, I, I don't know where the things are around it, so it is still a little bit of a hunt, but honestly, a little bit of hunt versus a complete hunt perfectly makes sense to me. Not makes sense, it's just, it, it's a lot better, in my opinion. Okay. So we need to go down here. We need to also, I also want to check up the top side. This area is looking pretty good. Let's take a look up top, right? Up here, we've, they've naturally pushed to here, even getting that. Uh, I think that's a, a, a power spot, so that's not too far off. And it is getting us close to over here. So if we were to say, start cutting off over here, we can get a couple really good ones to work our way down. I think it might be easier to work our way down than to work our way in. Plus, just by working our way down, we should start to alleviate this bulge, so to speak. So I think we're gonna shift just for a pure allevi alleviation. Uh, it will gain us more land in the long run and it should weaken the creeping uh, quite a bit more than what we were doing. So yeah, and this also, yeah, see we're, we're straight up just destroying this front line, right? Uh, this cannon and this mortar do need to exist, though. They do need to exist. Uh, the southern side... Ooh, another cannon. Yes. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And that's... That's how we need to do it. Um, so we just got a new front line area. And we're just gonna... We're just gonna march on in. We're just going for this one. I'm trying to stay a little high on the screen because I do want to keep an eye on that one area. It's not looking... You know, the creep, the creep is coming in for it, right? It's not looking the safest at the moment, but hey, we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully we get like a mortar here too. That would be pretty fantastic, but maybe not. Maybe it's just the two cannons and you know what? I'm okay with that. You know, I'll take, I'll take two cannons anytime I can get them. Um, but this is also our way of getting to this emitter, right? So ooh, push, 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 push save the day there we go there we go uh once we get to the cemetery we can start taking out some of the other key areas to see so this is this is the area that i'm worried about i'm just gonna just gonna defend it a little bit and keep the process a moving 
because uh, yes, we want this point of power. Hopefully this will have a couple of cannons, maybe a mortar, maybe... Oh no, I, I don't want to lose that cannon down there, and it did get skimmed. Oh, skimmer, you're the worst. Uh, save it, save this area as well. Our power is pretty good though, that one, uh, 169. So nice, so nice. Uh, and it's it's treating us very, very well. Uh, I'm super happy. Again, this bulge that was here, completely gone by attacking the top the way we did. So we didn't have to cut through it, we didn't have to go through the center, just by taking out the top and cutting in, uh, we gave enough. Ooh, okay, so here's a problem. That's, that's a nullifier. That's a nullifier, and it needs to be connected to a pylon, of course. And that pylon is down here, which, okay, we're good, we're good. That'll be fine. I was worried that these pylons couldn't connect, but, I mean, they're super close enough. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna get this nullifier on. We're gonna get this emitter done. And, yeah, the, the nullifier is actually not, like, right on the butt of the emitter. So, I have no complaints. Ooh, real close, Kanan. I want that. I want this. I want it all. Save the day. Save them both. Beautiful. Yeah, we're we're doing just fine. That thing is gone. And yeah, we, we've taken out... A, oh, eggs. I completely forgot about the eggs. Uh, there are eggs hidden everywhere, of course. Eggs, always the problem. Always the problem. You can't see them from some perspective or angles, you know. They, they really... Ooh. I was going to go for this, but I see we're literally at a spot, and this spot will give us the totem, and I really like totems. I don't want to actually build any units there. I don't want to pop any of these eggs, ideally. Oh. Catch, I saved it. I saved it. Oh, so good. I just want that totem to activate. It'll lift the eggs up and deposit them somewhere where I just don't care about them. That's kind of my thought. Uh... There we go, because now we have the shield, lifting up the egg. And that area is now just secured. So whatever needs to get... Oh, look at all those eggs. Oh my gosh. Now, I, I'm assuming they're going to pop, and it's going to be a problem. But at the same time, maybe that sniper comes online first, takes out the eggs. That'd be kind of cool. I would take it. I'd dig it. I'd dig it. Yeah, snipe, do your thing. Start shooting. It's like, they're right on the edge, so I don't think with the sniper popping them, they're actually going to do anything. So that actually is huge. And that gets us the nullifier, basically, I think. So... Let me just do this. Uh, yeah, that's that's the nully. You know, nully in a great position again. That's, that's also the key. It's these... It's just a much better designed uh, set now, I think. Uh, so where do we want to go, go, go? Uh, again, honestly, I'm okay with this sort of just being a thing and letting them shoot and sort of work towards that emitter while we do other things. Because one problem is we're still teetering at cap. And if we're teetering at cap, the more we take, the more things are going to be activating, right? So I kind of want to try and take one of these beforehand. Right, because if we can get both of these before Cap is like done, oh, are we at? Before, is Cap done now? Because we're at three point four, we're not actually. Oh no, we're still hitting Cap. Good. So I kind of want to take one of these, ideally both of them, while Cap is still like a thing. So we're just gonna sort of cut on in here and try and take these. Uh, if we can get, I don't know, half of this, that'd be kind of cool. I uh, definitely want that just to do a little extra breeding, but I want, like, eh, maybe I'll take a third of it. I'm happy with, like, a, a little snippet. Uh, that's, that's pretty good, pretty good. And now with this breeding cycle, they're hitting cap. We're not, of course. So we should be able to start expanding into them and use this as our, uh, our staging ground for the future assaults, right? Uh, use this to take out the one up top would be a goal. Uh, down below at that shield, they're doing they're doing fine. Now the problem is they are coming into this fairly well, so it's not like we're necessarily holding at all. But we've gotten we're still gaining a ground in here, right? So we can see it's the breeding cycle. We're pushing them back pretty good now with this. 
And yeah, we got we got some good ground. We should be able to get the whole thing for the next breeding cycle, which is awesome. And that's only gonna get us the other one, right? Because now, I mean, this map is very different than the others, uh, where th we have more of a cursor power bonus, but we have less units. And I'm perfectly fine with that, so long as now, with the ability to know where those units are. I think that's the most important thing for me. It's incredible knowing where those units are. And it's helped so, 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 so very much. Um, so, big kudos for putting in those notifi notification spots. Uh, it really, it's, it's essentially a game changer in this map. Uh, having the ability to see what you really do want and need to, uh, not collect, so to speak, but the, the important areas uh, ahead of time. So, very, very cool. Our cursor, we're approaching 200%. We're approaching our 200%, which is quite good. And we're, we're just going to go in. We're just going to start to overtake this just like we took the other one. And we're just going to just let it expand, right? I'm not even moving it right now. I'm going to let it expand naturally for a little bit. It should weaken the left side and get to that AC breeder section pretty well as well. And there we go. We got we got some breeding. We got some breeding. Get it on those AC breeding areas. And yeah, we're we're just taking it. Uh, that's just going to take the left side. It's just going to it's just going to reinforce everything. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The creep. Just, just can't handle it. Um, but unfortunately, with taking both of these, we can see we are clearly nowhere near cap anymore. So we are. Ooh, my! I, I don't want to. All right, we got, we got breeding zones. We got breeding time. Uh, definitely want to hold and take this. And ooh, see the skimmers. The skimmers are actually destroying things, which is wild to me. Uh, how did that skimmer destroy a pylon? I thought it only did the stun. I didn't realize the actual... I knew the damage portion dropped some creep, like when it blows itself up, but I didn't realize it actually blew things up like like damage, you know? I thought it would just drop some creep, turn its little body into its uh, little mortar shell thing, or, or stun bolt, whatever. And yeah, but apparently not. Apparently not. Apparently it does that much more and beautiful. We now have both of these zones, which hopefully can subside themselves. I think, I mean, that would be the goal, right? I mean, I don't, I cannot spend my time defending these. Let's see how down here is. Look at that, it nullified itself. Uh, we definitely will want this little area, which should be easy to get uh, as well. I should have probably even looked into this earlier. I mean, this is right there. Nice, easy AC gain. And where are we going next, right? So next on the list is right here. I think now we're sort of in the path where we're going like to this, and then we're coming over here. And I'm assuming there's something over there as well. So we're on this set now. So let's get our butt moving because we need to <laughs> we need to get going now. There's a load of eggs over there, and probably should have gotten to them a little sooner, I guess. Because uh, those eggs are going to be all of the problems, right? So as always, eggs are the problem. But hey, our cursor, our cursor can kind of handle things. We're we're kind of we're kind of moving pretty nicely. So oh, I want you to breed. <laughs> uh, that little area did not breed nearly enough. <laughs> I am not surprised by that. Uh, let's let's look for a mortar. Maybe there's something else attached to this as well. That is the one thing. You know, again, I, if you know where the things are, you're like, okay, well, there's my two cannons and I'm done. A lot of them have two cannons, but like that one has three, that one has two and a mortar. So you never really know for sure. So I'm kind of in hopes of like, can we find that one more? Is there that one? Does this have the mortar? Does this have the uh, third elusive cannon? You know, I would love for this one to have quite a few things because it's right in between the skimmer uh, nest and the uh, spore launcher. So I kind of hope this will have like three or four, maybe a sniper. Um, Definitely need this cannon. Definitely need this to just stay as is. There's definitely going to be more than just one. Yeah, there's a mortar there. So super, 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 super. Once we get both of these operational, we have our uh, our breeding ground as well. I think we're going to be in a good spot. Um,
Yeah, okay, good. Uh, doesn't look like we're going to get a third unit. Oddly enough, I was kind of hoping we were going to... Oh, we did! Huzzah! Success! Now the question is, do we... What do we launch on? And as much as I want to get to those eggs, uh, I think right now just going for the skimmer factory is probably the easier of the two. Uh, although, I mean, the skimmer factory has a lot more to it. The eggs, I mean, realist, I mean, the eggs are going to take so long to get through. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully things will just press naturally. Maybe if we take this, there will be some form of, uh, easy, uh, cannons and things, but I mean, look at these eggs I already bought them. They're just gonna, they're just gonna ruin the day of everything. I was kind of hoping that we just can kind of take it and let like two or three units just deal with all of the eggs that are popping. Like if there were, say there was like a mortar and a cannon and maybe, ooh, wait, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's not using, it's cheating. It's not using pylons. Holy moly, I had no idea that I could do that. Uh, that's awesome. That's awesome for us. Uh, that being said, where my units go up here, I don't know. But we're going to keep this pylon alive because once we get through just a couple more eggs, uh, I think we will be good. The bottom side is just pushing itself, so I don't even care about that. Let that bottom side go. I am super, super happy. Uh, I just want to see, like, I just want to see a couple units here. Not much. Don't need a ton. Just need a couple. Uh, the nullifier is on the top side. We're actually pretty close to it. Again, unfortunately, those eggs are going to be quite the problemo. Um, but there's nothing we can really do there. Mm -mm -mm. Keep this alive. You know, let's, let's just see. Oh, oh my. Don't let it die. I was. That's pretty close. <laughs> that thing is almost... Almost at death's door. Hmm, nullification going down. I definitely would like that. Those skimmers have been a nuisance. These eggs have been a nuisance. And we're, we're getting through them. But there are, there are 80 on the freaking map. So, definitely not the easiest thing to deal with at the moment. Uh, it's just, it is pooping out eggs so very quick. We need this nullifier. The top side is looking pretty good, though. The top side is looking pretty good. Uh, we're almost to the point where we can get that nullifier online. And honestly, if I'm lucky, I'll stop it there and just let the nullifier get built. Uh, oh, we can't let you die. I'd rather, I'd rather the pylon stay alive than the nullifier, unfortunately. And there we go. We now have the end of the skimmers so that is actually good but it's gonna take a while right i mean unfortunately for us those skimmers they are not our friends uh they have a load of eggs inside of them uh it's not gonna be good okay good 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 yes the nullifier is built on top okay perfect 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 now this should stop the eggs from spawning uh now we're just gonna hold make sure it doesn't die to that egg mm -hmm. Don't die. I'm just going to super load it up. Super duper duper load it up because there was another egg right next to it. It's right under the nullifier thing. I apologize. I can't get rid of that. But I think we did it. I think we saved the nullifier. And I don't think any of the eggs are close enough to actually pose any real threat anymore. So, like, let's just see. Let's pop those two, one or two. Do those make it to our units? Hmm. They get close. I really could use a cannon or two up there. <laughs> but you know what? I'm super, super happy. It, it is very easily defended, at least at this point. Uh, let's get rid of the stash. The stash is actually causing some major headaches for us because, you know, it's, it's stashing. Stashes, you know, I speak ill of stashes. They're not bad. They're great support units. Oh, no. They did overtake it. Stashes are great support units, and I I will fully admit that. The problem is, in most maps when you're playing as the creep, you don't want support, you want assault, right? So they would be more of a long-term investment. Uh, that nullifier is immediately dead to that egg. Thank you, egg. Uh, can I pop these? No. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. So yeah, we don't we don't care about support. We just care about assault. And if you care about assault, then 
you know, support's just not gonna just not gonna do it for you. Uh, so where do we go from here, right? I mean, if we take this bottom portion, we'll get this little bit there. Uh, that should be a help to hold, but we're kind of we're kind of at equilibrium across the board, and that's kind of the problem right now, right? We're at such equilibrium, you know, we're not pushing past things. I kind of think getting to this spot. Oh, no nullifier. No, not again. Holy moly, this freaking nullifier. Uh, it's, it's like an egg just pops out the exact wrong time. You know, it's right about to fire, an egg just lands right on it. Definitely is the problem here. Um, I just, I just want to keep moving. I just want to move my butt along, and there we go. That was a couple of eggs. That was my fault, though. That was not the fault of uh, the spore launcher pooping it out. That was literally me saying, "I am, I am doing this." That one, though, that one was the spore launcher. So that's the one that I'm blaming. Uh, I just want to get my butt to this spot. You know, maybe we'll get a couple more cannons. Uh, the stash is still stashing. I wanted to have that completely under control, but unfortunately, unfortunately, it's not. I just want to see some cannons. Give me some cannons here. Give me some love. That will help. Oh, no. <laughs> every freaking time. Every freaking time. Um, I just like one cannon would have been enough there. Just one, one cannon for the spore launcher. Um, that's really all I truly want. Just like one cannon around the spore launcher. And we were not allowed to have that. And that's the problem. And where are my units for this one? Come on. There we go. Oh, that's that's super dead with that egg. Uh, that's going to be a dead nullifier. I don't care anymore. I don't care about the nullifier. I want some gains of land. Uh... We gain some land, we surround this thing with some cannons, that will actually lighten the load pretty substantially. Uh, and lightening the load is actually very beneficial, right? Because uh, as you can see, the, the AC is actually pushing back relative, or pushing in substantially better now that we have a little bit more ground. We've pushed it in. Uh, I want another cannon, but this is now, now kind of holding. This nullifier is basically back to online, which is good. Which has an egg right there. Please, egg, go away. Go away right now. Uh, let's just eliminate. Uh, I do want to get up there, of course. I do want to get to everywhere, basically, of course. Um, but, you know, we're at 3.1. 3.1 is not too shabby. Oh, and I lost the pile on here. Ugh! <laughs> It's so bad to hold right now. Maybe we just need we just need to be super aggressive. I think that's it. I think we just need to abandon our plan, get to super aggressive status. Although, I think one more unit here would be enough to hold. It's just, where is that other unit? Are you up here? Unit, up here. Yes. Thank you. Unit, you have appeared. Let's move in a bit. Maybe there's another one in the front, much like the side right up here would be good as well this this literal spot uh i would love to see it which we didn't so that's fine that's fine we didn't see it but that should now hopefully be able to hold and i'm going to try something i'm going to see how this works if we just come in along this side because there is a lot of creeper breeding right but we need to we just need some land Right, I think that's important, is us just getting some land. And we're sort of definitely, definitely at a bit of a crunch, right? Let's, let's actually pause, take a look at the depths of things. So down here, definitely pretty, everywhere is pretty deep, right? I mean, there's no, there's no thin area, unfortunately. Unfortunately, there's no real thin area. Uh, and that's fine. Again, these eggs are going to do their thing. Over here is going to do its thing. Uh, everywhere is going to just do its thing. I'm hoping with these two, this pushes everything else out, though, which it looks like it kind of is. Again, that stash is popping and taking this back, but then getting overtaken, so I'm not super afraid of the stash. Uh, I'm, the reason I'm coming up here is just to sort of cut off some land, maybe gain some that they can't take back. Uh, ideally speaking, we're going to the corner. 
That corner is what I really want, but I am going to try and sort of cut this off because any power that we can gain and hold just because our AC is pushing against it is quite nice too, right? This is all for the cursor power. Uh, cursor power is immense and only getting more. So I think going for this corner, yeah, see, it is pushing back. Equilibrium is at a much further, is, is at a worse state than I would like. Um, but we're making, we're making some good progress. Now the just to the left of the cursor will start to push in and most likely take out our elements um, but the question is how strong is the breeder in the corner right because if we can sort of hold this line with our cursor ooh, okay we did get a very big breed right there yeah that breeding zone ooh, okay when it breeds it's a bad news for us that is for sure so the breeding is real. The breeding is real. The breeding is strong and potent and powerful. And we need to make sure we're the ones who breed, right? Uh, so let's let's see. I don't know. This is this is this is sort of an off the beaten path, but we have the cursor power that can survive. So if we have the cursor power that can survive, if we can take this corner and get this entire corner breeding for us, it's not split breeder, remember. So they're never going to be able to breed on it themselves we might be able to cut out this corner get to that stash take it oh no no i let my mouse go too far all right we're still good we're still good we're making it over we're almost to the safety zone and we have officially made it so we're breeding they're breeding but because we're breeding on our terrain they're breeding on theirs we're just taking more and more ground and we're even pushing them off their breedable terrain right that's what we want to see we want this corner to be ours and start pushing from it and i think i genuinely think that is honestly something that we can do and if we do that i think it's going to be so pretty potent for us so let's get even further we have more breedable terrain than we did last time we were breeding. As you can see, we're even just expanding it out. And now, if we can start taking away some of this breedable terrain for them, keep our corner, keep things good, I think we can start to push out with the breeding cycle. And if we do that, maybe we can take out that stash, maybe we can take out everything. It's sort of a, a backdoor assault. And backdoor friends are best. If you did not know, backdoor friends are best. This is 100% true. Uh, there we go. We get the breeding. They're not even breeding over here right now. And you can see it's actually... It's doing pretty okay. So now we can start to take out some of their breeders nearby. And yeah, I mean, this is, we're, we're kind of holding, we're expanding. We got another 30 seconds till the next breeding and I want that gone and I want this to be ours. But look at that, look at the expansion that we're getting. This is amazing. Oh, this is working, it's working, it's working. Uh, maybe I should have done this over the sprayer or the, over everything else because this is this is actually kind of working because now we have this area making everything and because it's in the corner as well it's actually working double duty it's instantly breeding spreading in all directions but hitting the corner that corner is sending it out forward it's just beautiful and look at this we are cutting out like all of their breedable terrain up here so we're cutting out so much land that they they once had they once had all of this they could hold it and we could, right? So next on the uh, next on the list, I, I think it's trying trying to eliminate this uh, this little zone because we take this out. This entire top falls, right? This is what's supporting the entirety of the top. There is a little string of readable terrain, but eh, no 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 no. This is this is what's doing it. And look at how easy we can just push into it now. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is exactly what you want to see, right? Uh, they are, as you can see, they are breeding, but they lost half of their breedable terrain here. And yeah, we're not, we're barely losing any ground. So if we can hold this, uh, okay, we can't necessarily hold it right now. But, but, we have held pretty well. We even got their stash to pop, which is good and bad. I mean, clearly it's bad because it's popping literally as their breedable terrain activates. <laughs> so, damn you, stash. <laughs> damn you. <laughs> but, 
that was the, I mean, the stash had to pop eventually, right? There was no way it wasn't going to pop. So, you know, we just had to, that was a thing we just had to deal with. We just had to deal with it. You can see the AC on the left side is actually making gains as well. Uh, the stash still has 500 in it, but the breedable terrain is almost entirely ours. And the stash popped with one second left of breedable terrain. So it actually did not breed nearly as much. But look at this. This entire top is taking itself. Oh, baby, baby, baby. So one more pass should do it. I think there really isn't enough uh, creep in the area to stop us. We'll keep the stash from popping just like that. Keep this terrain from breeding just like this. And yeah, we've... Uh, we've assailed successfully the top of the map uh all right all right you wanted to prove me wrong you wanted to prove me wrong that little bit right there i'm sorry i'm sorry you did good you tried but no no more for you uh no more for this get rid of that assailed uh how is this doing look at this see this this just pressed in because of all of the pressure that we relieved um oh no oh no oh no don't pop the eggs don't pop the eggs do what you did last time uh, get that going. Don't pop the eggs. The key is we don't want to pop those eggs, of course. Uh, don't even care about the cannon. Just want that filled up. It's almost filled, and it's filled. So now with that being filled, I'm instantly going to try and take it out as fast as possible in case we can find a sniper. Uh, let's get it building as fast as possible, of course. Uh, looks like there is one. Now, will that be fine? I don't know. I don't know. This is, it's always dangerous when things like that happen. Uh, I mean, realistically, eh. I mean, they got some eggs. They'll all pop. They'll do some things, but it looks like, it looks like they can handle themselves for the most part. As long as the power is saved, uh, I think we're good, good, good. So last but not least, I guess, is the emitter, of course. Now this emitter is, you know, slightly problematic. More so, I guess, the, the area in the bottom right is more importante. Uh, this egg is going to cause some strife, of course. I just figure if we can build this before we go on our bottom right venture, uh, you might as well, because, hey, if there's some cannons here, if it's shooting the AC or creep, you know, it works, right? Just, just hold it. Uh, honestly, I have no fear of that emitter. That that emitter is like nothing to us. Uh, it really is just the southern portion of the map that is any kind of fear. And it's just that, really. Well, and, and that. Um, and you know what? If it's this... I mean, we have so much pushing power. We don't have that much in the way of defensive power. But our 232%, I mean, look at it just cut into this, right? And this is like their big, their big zone. So yeah, let's just take this out. Right there, we just took out a large chunk of their potential refilling. They are breeding right now, so we're gonna stop them there, stop them there, and then we're gonna take out the rest of it. Right? We're gonna maybe not the rest of it. I mean, we still it's a it's a long way to go, but I mean, look at how well we push. I mean, look at our pushing power, especially. I chose the southern side because, again, use your walls. Walls aren't so very good. This map is basically in cleanup mode at this point. Um, we have a breeding zone now. Get rid of it. No, I let them breed in the center. Uh, you know, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't really that bad. Look at how <laughs> look at how little they did. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All of the AC taking out the map. And they can't even push out, right? They, there's just nothing that they can do. We have officially taken this. Uh, yeah, get it all gone. No, no even chance for breeding. Coming back, none of that. And I guess we'll take this. I mean, again, it's it's nice to have. It's a, it's a high point, so high points are good. Uh, that'll get us some breeding. And yeah, let's just cut on in. Let's just take them out. Uh, I don't care about anything anymore. I mean, look at look at that. The emitter can't do nothing. Um, so yeah, the AC is just on the winning streak. Uh, and what's nice is those units at the top—they're just handling the eggs. You know, I could be up there. I could have my my cursor dealing with eggs, but 
the eggs are just being handled. So that's actually just such a big boon for us that we don't have to waste our time with it. So yeah, I, I really, really like that. Uh, there's nothing left. No more breedable zones. AC taken over the world. And I'm a big fan. I am quite the fan. Uh, we'll just hold that. Get our AC over here. Once this starts to breed, it's super over, of course. Um, yeah, we'll just take this. I don't care about anything else. <laughs> Look at that. Just cutting through. We'll retake this one more time because, again, this is the, all their breedable zones, it looks like. And, yeah, we're, again, we're just in cleanup duty. So how is this? It's still popping eggs, it looks like. But the nullifier was built. So while we cleaned this up, that emitter got all of its egg, eggs popped and the nullifier is being built. And we didn't have to touch it. That's, I call that success. I call that pretty big success. Uh, love it, love it, love it. Objective obtained right there, and we cleaned up the map. Now, unfortunately, it's going to take a, a little while to spool up its victory. Oh, no. <laughs> no! Oh, that's, that's really... <laughs> An egg that was directly underneath popped. Uh... Alright, alright. No, stop it! Like, what is going on? Oh yeah, there's one more egg left. Literally, the eggs are, like, directly underneath. Those freaking eggs, man. Um, there's the last egg. Ugh. I was so happy. I, I didn't even look at the egg count. I didn't realize there were some, like, directly underneath that would only pop once the nullifier was on. Uh, I would have saved the nullifier if that was the case. So, that is my fault. Uh... No more eggs, though. I'm very upset, because I think we could have gotten just under 40 minutes, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful foam party. We're having a good time. I think, yeah, let's charge him from up here. Um, loop. Honestly, our, our cursor like doesn't even like touch the peaks that are on the map too, which is kind of wild. But there we go. That has been Cursor Assist 03. Uh, how did we do? We did 39 minutes for that. Totems in 35 minutes. Not too bad. There is a 29 minute and a 26 minute one. Very, very cool. But honestly, I, I feel pretty good. I, I feel pretty decent. Had a lot of fun. Nice methodical. Again, I love the design of putting the indicators of where little packs will be. I think that that truly set it apart from all the others. That was beautiful. Thank you so much for that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll catch you next time. Take care.